everyone. Thank you for joining me as I break down the good and the bad of Prey, a new installment in the Predator franchise. But is it the best one they've made yet? Let's talk about it. Set 300 years in the past, this skilled Comanche warrior is trying to protect her tribe from this skilled Predator alien advanced monster that she's facing while also facing against colonizers, the wilderness, and the mystery of where this thing came from. Let's start off with the good. The build up to the showdown between the predator in this movie versus its prey, the Kamachi, while they're also hunting it at the same time is laid out perfectly. It's built up in a, in a slow burn kind of way where we see this cat and mouse thing of the predator trying to figure out where the humans are and the humans trying to figure out what this thing that's leaving these big trails and destroying the animal life that they usually fear is. And this, the way they tell this story introduces you to the Kamachi tribe and you get to see where they live and how they live, the hierarchy of how things go in and how they hunt. And we even get to see cool moments of them hunting other animals, seeing that, what skills they actually have and how that applies to how they can fight the predator who has all this technology that they've never seen before. And I believe that this slow build that they decided to do in this movie pays off well because when the Kamachi and the Predator finally come face to face. It is well worth it. It's intense. It's brutal. Just like the action throughout this movie is really brutal. The R rating is well deserved. And while the action is brutal and gory, it's not overdone. It's well shot, well choreographed, and it has the right amount of violence to make you cringe a little bit, but not just to, for laughs. This is a serious <laughs> as serious as it can get as these people are trying to survive this highly trained Predator. We see this predator be vicious and brutal calculating and scoping out its prey as it goes on but on the flip side of that we see the Kamachi do the same thing and it shows why it is even plausible that they could survive and keep up with this monstrosity and I just want to give a shout out to Amber Mid Thunder what an awesome last name she plays Naru the main character in here and I think she does a fantastic job playing this role because it's mostly silent mostly everything with the eyes and emotion because a lot of it is her in the wilderness hunting trying to survive whistling sometimes and speaking languages that we, you know because this is these are it's a Native American tribe so sometimes they're speaking languages that we don't understand but purpose that's done purposely I think that she did a fantastic job as the main character in this the, the Arnold Schwarzenegger of this but in a very very different way this is a feministic movie without pushing the message in your face you kind of just get it by watching they don't tell you men are bad or men are worse or anything like that or they're not capable that's the opposite because her brother who's in this movie plays his side very very well he was very very likable as a warrior as someone that trusted her but understood that not everyone wanted a woman to be a hunter as well I think that did not dynamic that they had was really great and especially with them and their cute little dog oh my god every time I saw it in danger I was like no do not kill that dog it's awesome but yeah th that trio right there is really what held the movie up and made me really like it the predator and the alien franchise has been getting very convoluted and complicated as the sequels has gone on and what makes prey really great and one of the best prequels I've ever seen is that they go back to the basics but what makes it great also is that we were in a new unfamiliar setting with this monster. It, it is the wilderness where you're dealing with a Native American Comanche tribe that inserts a lot of heart into the story and also a lot of culture in the story as well because we get to see the way they live and hunt and do things. I really enjoy that aspect that really elevated this movie and brought the Predator franchise to a modern day where People can enjoy it again. It's simple. It's man versus predator. How can the human survive this advanced alien thing, especially in this time? In the original Predator, you know, they had guns. They understood how some of that stuff worked. But as the, the movie, you know, progressed, we see them learning what this Predator can do and what he has. Let's move on to the bad. So I don't really have anything super glaring that's bad about this movie. It's fundamentally sound from the acting, the sound, the cinematography, the way it was directed by director Trattenberg. I think the only thing that holds this back from being a really great movie in my opinion is that it just doesn't do anything new 
or pushes the franchise forward. It just resets it in a way where it becomes really enjoyable and simple the way that the franchise should be. And it's a, I think it's a really good fresh start, but it's nothing here that's gonna like blow you away, I think. Let's talk about my verdict. So I think that Prey is one of the best prequels I've ever seen, like I said before. It takes the, us back to the basics and puts us in a new exciting environment. I think this was a really strong, excellent start from this director and crew to start the Predator franchise again with this movie Prey. I think it's really, really good. I think that with another installment, hopefully we get a sequel to this, that it can be really, really great with them getting all of the basics out of the way. Hopefully they keep it from being convoluted. But with that said, I'm gonna give this a C plus. Comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think about Prey. Did you really enjoy it? Do you think it's the best Predator movie that we got? I think it's right there with the original Predator and better than all the, the prequels and the restarts and the, and the uh, sequels and the crossovers that we've gotten before. This is either gonna be your favorite Predator movie or your second Predator movie. But let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you're a subscriber, hit that like button and comment below. And if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell, and so you can be notified of my reviews, reactions, and ranking lists, and you can watch more of my content right now. Thank you.